Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over my log deck build. I'm going to show you in more detail how I built it and how it works. This is something that's super handy for any sawmill, I would say, and I use it on a regular basis pretty much every day that I work here at the sawmill. This is something that I use and it comes in super handy, so I'm just going to go over it real quick. So stay tuned throughout the video to see exactly how I built this thing and how it works. So first of all, this is not the original build. So actually I have two other videos that I will put in the description on this log deck because I initially I built it out of just some junk wood that I had laying around and it ended up breaking on me because I had, I dropped a big old white pine log on it and one of the, actually both of them broke. Both of the main cross members broke. So. I had to redo it and this time I made it bigger and I made it out of oak. So I'm going to show you the sizes that I made and then if you guys want to see the initial build go down in the description and I'll link both of those other videos below to where I rebuilt and initially built the log deck. So let's get right into it. So my current version of the log deck has 8x10 solid oak beams for the main cross members and that holds a lot of weight and they are about 10 and a half feet long. So for my footings, I also used oak, and that's a 6x6 post. And then in my first video, you'll see how I put these together. So the leg is all made out of oak. And then on the side here, I put a 45 brace along the side, and it actually hardly even needs that brace. And I actually knocked the one off that side, and over there that one's coming partially off, as you can see here. And it's actually amazingly sturdy without that brace. Now I do have a brace running up the side um, just to keep it from rocking back and forth. And to fasten these to the main part, I just screwed these with four inch screws up on an angle all around. I know that's not the most sturdy and probably in the future I will, I will figure out a better way to fasten those together. Uh, maybe with a, a giant lag screw through the top or something like that. But for now, as long as I don't get too rowdy with it, it holds up pretty good. You can see I have that along both sides. And here I've made a little tray to set stickers in so that I can easily access stickers when I'm stacking up lumber when it comes off the mill here. Now, for these uh, cross members that run from the deck to the mill, I made those out of white pine so that they will be lightweight and I just notched a little bit out of here so this will be flush but still have a lot of meat here but I also wanted a lot here for this to rest on so I didn't want to go just cut this down all the way so I cut it part ways on both pieces so this just fits real nice and loosely in there doesn't have to be super tight now here's the other end and this part just rests on the track of the sawmill and I made a notch out of this one so that it will be about the same height as the cross bunks on top. So when that slides into place, it's free to move back and forth. And if I'm cutting eight foot logs, I actually like to run it in a little bit because sometimes these short eight foot logs like to fall off these runners. So I like to pull that in and I actually need to redo this one because it's cracked on both sides so I need to use something stronger I guess. I actually broke this one just the other day. I was trying to drop a log over top of some logs that were sitting on on the log deck and it landed with too much force on the runner and it actually broke it in here there was kind of a weak spot with this knot. So I patched it up with some 2x8 and some lag screws and it works good enough for now so I guess I probably need to redo those at some point. Thank you. 
So there you have it guys, that is my log deck. And as you can see, there's really not much to it. It's a very inexpensive way to set up a log deck for yourself without going and buying a bunch of steel and welding it together. Now, if you want to do that, more power to you. That would be awesome to have a welded deck. But for someone who doesn't have welding skills or access to expensive steel to build a steel log deck um, or to buy one, I would recommend building something like this. Um, now you can, obviously you can modify it in whatever way you want it to. I built mine specifically with a specific width in mind because I wanted to be able to fit equipment in between it and still be able to accommodate an 8 foot log. So that's what I achieved with mine and I'm really happy with that because it allows me to drive the tractor all the way in there and pick up something really heavy off the sawmill if I need to. And the width that I needed for that was a little bit more than 7 feet. So with that, I'm able to drive the tractor in between. It's tight squeeze, but I can do that and still put on an eight foot log. So that's an awesome feature that I really like about my log deck. And especially with all the cedar logs that I'm milling up, um, this comes in super handy. It cuts down on time, fuel, running equipment. You always have to bring in a log to the mill every time or having to load a log onto the mill with like a ramps and a winch. Um, this is a super nice alternative to winching logs up onto the mill. Now, I don't have the hydraulic log loader, so I guess that's another reason that this log deck comes in super handy for me, because um, most of my milling is not on site. It's uh, stationary here at the sawmill shed. So, so that's that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and learn something. If you got good value, consider liking and subscribing. And thanks for watching. And until next time, happy sawing, guys.